What's up, YouTube? So, the Miami Dolphins have just picked up um, Trey Flowers uh, from free agency. Um, we're signing him to a one-year deal. Uh, I'm assuming that this means that Andrew Van Ginkle isn't ready to go. Um, I really wasn't trying to sign Trey Flowers, and if we were going to, I was kind of hoping we would do it sooner. That way he can play in a preseason game so we can get a little bit better of an evaluation of him. Um, maybe this means that you know the team isn't as comfortable with Porter Gustin and Darius Hodge as a lot of Dolphins fans seem to be, because um, I, I felt pretty good about them. Uh, but he is a guy that can that, that has played in this system before with New England, um, and even in uh, Detroit played very similar systems. Uh, he's a guy that can play. You know, he can drop back and play linebacker. He can play edge. Um, you can have his hand in the dirt. You can be standing up. You, you can do a lot of different things with him. Um, but he hasn't really been that dude in a while. It, it, it's kind of like living off of old bodies at this point. Um, he's he's not the New England Patriots Trey Flowers anymore. Uh, the last couple of years have been pretty rough. Uh, the last two years combined, he's had three and a half sacks. He's definitely not the edge. He's definitely not the pass rusher that he once was. Uh, he is still a pretty good run defender. Um, so so that is good. I don't know how much he's gonna play. Um, probably be like a rotational guy at best between because uh, I think Jalen Phillips and Melvin Ingram will be the, be our starters. Uh, but I I felt like we had plenty of edge rushers to be fine. Um, I thought, you know, Cameron Good, Porter Gustin, I thought that they'd be fine. Uh, maybe Darius Hodge. You know, we have Emmanuel Ogba as well. Like, we, we got plenty of uh, pass rushers. I, I didn't really think that Trey Flowers was necessary. Um, and if he's going to be here, unfortunately, that probably means that Porter Gustin isn't. Um, and I would have much rather keep him because I think he has a higher ceiling. Uh, same with Darius Hodge. I'd rather keep either of those dudes over um, Trey Flowers at this point. But, you know what? I hope he proves me wrong. Hopefully he comes out and balls out and becomes a pro bowler and all, all those types of things. Um, if he's going to be a Miami Dolphin, I hope he does well. So, um, yeah. But at the very least, it is a scheme fit. And he is a veteran guy, pretty good leader from what I understand. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.